This video is going to cover how to change the fonts in the Equid widget. In the past, if you've used this widget, you had to manually type in the name of the font, but now all you have to do is select the widget and then go up to the text tool and then just change the font right there. This is not only now how you change the font type, this is how you change the main font color, font size, and the line height, which Muse for some reason calls leading. I'll show you a quick example of how this works. So I'm going to export the site into the browser, and I'm just going to go to a random product. So if you were to export your Muse site with the default settings of the Equid widget, this is what it would look like by default. Now I'll show you real quick how easy it is to change all the text to red. I'm going to reload the same page. And any of the text that didn't change colors is because the color of the text is changed inside a different setting. But as you can see, the main color of the text has now changed to red. The way that you change your hyperlink color is also a little different now too. The hyperlink is now inherited from the site properties. So if you go inside the site properties, the link color will follow whatever you set for the normal link. So that's how you change the main text color as well as the hyperlink color. And then if you open up the main storefront widget and then go under fonts, you'll see that you're able to change a few more specific fonts. So first you have the product category labels. I'm just going to force these to uppercase and change the color of the text so you can see a quick example of what this looks like. So as you can now see, the product category labels are now in all uppercase and they are red. Next you have the price. So I'll change the price to, let's go with the yellow color. Then you have two size options. So the first size customizes the size of the font in the product grid. And I'll make this one very big so you can see the clear difference. And then the size for the product details, this is going to be the size of the font that you would see just about everywhere else. So I'm going to make this one really small. All right, now I'll export that to the browser. All right, so now you can see the size of the font in the product grid is set to 34. And then the size of the font inside the product details is now set to 10 or 12 or whatever I set it to. And then the last font that we have is the notes. Notes are the text that are used in the store that add more information to something on the page. So this would be something like the product's skew. So you can set the color here, the size there, and then for the in-stock and out-of-stock text, those will follow the text size that you set for the note, but then you can give those text unique colors right here. For those of you that would like to change the type of font used for the header text, that is now just as easy to do with the headers widget. So to change the font type for the headers, just select the headers widget, then open up the text tool, and then change to whatever font type that you would like. With the headers widget, since you're going to have multiple header fonts on a page, you're not able to change everything else as easily as you are the main storefront widget. So to be able to change the font sizes, you just open up the header font section, and then you go down here to size, and you're able to change all the font sizes of header 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'll just show you a quick example of what the page looks like now that it has the updated header font. So I'm going to reload the same page. And there you go, now it's using FF Market. So that is how you change the fonts for the Equid widgets in Adobe News.